Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math grade 8 unit 2 lesson 6 practice problems. Our first problem here says each diagram has a pair of figures, one larger than the other. For each pair, show that the two figures are similar by identifying a sequence of translations, rotations, reflections, and dilations that make the smaller figure to the larger one. So I look at these and my first thought is, what are we gonna do to get them the same size? Well, what would the scale factor be from one to the other? The base of this triangle has a length of one and the base of the other one has a length of two so that looks like a scale factor of 2. So we want to dilate scale factor of 2 centered, let's do it right at the origin. Scale factor of 2 centered at the origin. This point, point A, would stay where it is. B would go from being one unit away to being two units away. C would go from being two up, one over, to being four up and two over. Then, we need to translate it to get one figure on the other. How much do we have to translate it? We have to go to get this new point here onto point C. We have to go up to right to. To get this point here onto F, we have to go up to right to. To get this point here onto E, we have to go up to right to. So. We want to translate up to and right. Spell right the right way. Up to and right to. Or we could call it a translation of Whoops, up to right one. Spent so long trying to fix that, I forgot how to count to two. We want to go up to and right one. Translation of x plus one, y plus two. Okay, that right there, it looks like we'll take this original triangle here and put it onto this triangle there. Okay, next one here. We have two triangles. They look scaled differently, which means first let's see what we can do to the scale to get the two figures the same size. So D to B looks like one, two, three units. D prime to B prime looks like one, two, three, four, five, six units. So going three units to six units, dilate it with a scale factor of two. Center it at A. That means D would go from being one, two units to being four units. C would go from being two units to being four units. B 
would go from being one, two, three, four, five units to being ten units. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That doesn't show up on this, so I'll kind of estimate that. Then we need to rotate this. Well, how much do we need to rotate it? Each one of these lines works out to 15 degrees. So 15, 30, 45, 60 degrees. So we want to rotate 60 degrees counterclockwise. Center of rotation at A. So if we take BDC, dilate it with a scale factor of 2 and a center of A, that puts it up here. Then we rotate it 60 degrees counterclockwise. That puts the original figure onto the other one, showing that the two figures are similar. Okay, what's our next question? Here are two similar polygons. Measure the side length and angles of each polygon. What do you notice? So, one, two, three units. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six units. Now, if we measure all of these, which you should do on your own, what do you think is going to happen with these lengths compared to these lengths? The lengths of the short one compared to the lengths of the long one. I bet any length that I find on this short one will be double on this large one. DC is one diagonal unit. Here it is one, two diagonal units. So, what do we notice? Oh, angles. Angle A and angle E. Well, those look like the same angle. Angle B and angle F, well, those seem to be the same. Fortunately, I don't have a nice protractor to put on here, but check these with your protractor, and I bet you will find matching angles, but all the side lengths are double. Okay, each figure shows a pair of similar triangles, one contained in the other. For each pair, describe a point and a scale factor to use for a dilation moving the larger triangle to the smaller one. Use a measurement tool to find the scale factor. So, first one here, where's our center of dilation? Center has to be at B, this point here. For this other one, the center has to be A. How do I know that? Well, the center of dilation when we dilate a figure does not move. Point B started out zero units from the center of dilation and finished zero units from the center of dilation. A started out zero units from the center of dilation and finished zero units from the center of dilation. So if we're trying to find the center of dilation on one figure contained in another, look for the point that didn't move. Now, use a measurement tool to find the scale factor. Let's see how good my measurement tool here will So on our first one here, there, lined up perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen ish. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 14 to 56, I'm going to bet that's a scale factor of one-fourth. BC looks like one four or BC prime looks like one fourth of BC. Now let's check this one. Ooh, let me. Scale factor of one fourth. For this one. Okay, what do we think our scale factor is going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve units. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. From 12 to 36. So what do we multiply 36 by to get 12? One third. This is one third of the total distance. This one is one fourth of the total distance. And that's our last problem on this one. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching and see you next time.